Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here and watching today's video. How are you guys all doing? I hope you're well and having a lovely, lovely month. Happy February, if you're watching this in February. I can't quite believe how quick January flew by, but it also kind of felt like it went a little bit slow. And then I'm kind of thinking how are we already in February and it's like midway through and it's just a bit mad. <laughs> but I'm getting excited for spring at the moment and I keep having to like hold myself off because it's still so, so cold here in the UK and I keep like going towards wearing like sage colored blazers and florals and things like that. And then I'm like, hold on, still got some winter fashion and styling stuff to share with you guys. So in today's video, I wanted to share some River Island pieces and looks and some H&M pieces as well and do like a little mini haul with you guys. So first up, I'm gonna jump straight in and share some River Island outfits with you all, starting with this really cute little fluffy pink checkerboard set. I am obsessed with this and I feel like it does scream spring to me, but I love at the moment kind of styling it like this for the winter months with some amazing white cream high knee boots and this gorgeous fake fur like shearling detailed coat from River Island as well. I love loved the shape and fit of this and I love the fact that it works pretty much with everything in my wardrobe so with lots of like neutral black outfits with like black jeans and a black tee or roll neck I've been styling this coat just to kind of bring outfits to life a little bit more do like a double color combo with the neutrals like complementing each other a little bit more and I love how it looks like that as well but I thought it worked really nicely with more of the pinks and neutrals in my wardrobe too and it will be one of those coats that I can kind of take in to pre-spring as well as it's just that really easy neutral styled coat that goes with lots of different colors lots of different prints and lots of different florals as well but this checkerboard set is honestly a dream it is the softest snuggliest thing and I love cohorts if you've watched previous videos you'll know that I love the fact that cohorts just can be mixed and matched and styled multiple different ways I love that you can style the tops with jeans and the skirts with little tops and tees and dress them down and things like that and I just thought this one was really really cute I'm a big sucker for things that are pink and I do have kind of like outfits that are a bit more like street style and a bit more chic but then I do have this girly side when I'm styling outfits and this is very much like a very me kind of girly outfit that I've been loving at the moment and the boots surprisingly seeing as they're like I'd want to say like three and a half inches they are so so comfortable to wear out and about and I really struggle to find boots that are super comfortable and a really good quality and like premium fit and these are just gorgeous I loved the like shape and fit of them and I feel like for me I do love a high knee boot so I like to have like my black pair my cream and a brown pair and I just loved these as being like the perfect cream white high knee boot for winter but also for spring and summer styling as well. Next up, the coat of dreams. Isn't this coat amazing? I actually think this is quite a love it or hate it kind of coat because when I first put this on, Jamie was like, I do not like that coat on you. And I was like, I'm obsessed, my sister loves it. I remember putting it in my stories and doing a poll for you guys and lots of you were saying like you loved it but then a few said you didn't. So feel like it's definitely a Marmite kind of coat but I personally am absolutely obsessed with it. I think it's so fun. It adds a bit more something something to an outfit, whether you're styling with neutrals like I've done here with like a cream classic roll neck, cream jeans, and then cream boots. I love these boots, which I'll get onto in a minute, but they are a dream. But the coat I just feel like goes with lots of different kind of neutral pieces in my winter wardrobe. So I've been really enjoying styling with like more of the cream neutrals, but then also like brown beige tones as well and more black toned pieces. But then I actually really love styling styling it with orange. I feel like the browns and oranges at the moment are something that I really like kind of styling together as two colors and doing like a sandwich outfit. Where I do like a sandwich kind of colorway outfit where I do like neutral pants and then an orange knit or vest and things like that just to kind of add a bit more color. And I love the fact that this coat just goes with lots of different shades in my wardrobe. It's also such a premium fit and feel and like a really nice fake fur. So it's super snuggly in the winter months. And then these boots, which I just love. I love them. I literally throughout the winter months and with like pre-autumn I was really struggling to find a really good comfy platform cream boot and I remember seeing so many people in so many different kinds of cream boots and then they just sell out and I was like I need to get my hands on a pair because I can't find any anywhere and these popped up on River Island and I was like 
they are the ones because I like the fact that they've got this beige detailed bottom, this like tan bottom of like a platform that allows you to just kind of be able to style it with a little bit more color in your wardrobe. I always find if you've got that complete neutral cream boot, it can sometimes limit you to feeling like you can style it with like more black pieces or grays or blues and things like that. And I always find that when there's another color chucked in there, they're a bit more versatile for styling lots of different ways with different pieces and colors in our wardrobe. So for me personally, they've been an absolute go-to with lots of like cream styling but also like car keys and blacks and things like that in my wardrobe so you'll be seeing lots of different ways over on my Instagram if you follow me over there of like ways that I style these pieces but this is just one of my favorite kind of neutral outfits right now I just love how easy and comfortable it is and just super super snug next up if you guys have followed me for a while you know that I love a pop of color and I have like a few different pops of colors that I always gravitate towards whether it's like pinks oranges or greens and I love this green shade this like kind of neon but like cross between being a bit more of like an apple color and I've got a few pieces in my wardrobe like this but I fell in love with this satin skirt I feel like it really brings an outfit to life and I wanted to go for a bit more like fun everyday outfit that I'd probably wear if I was going for like dinners into like pub drinks with friends where you want to be kind of dressed up but dressed down slightly a little bit more cash and super comfy and these welly styled boots I've actually styled multiple different ways over my Instagram in a reel but they are just the softest like fake leather and they are so so comfortable I feel like for like future festivals this is something that you could definitely have as like a welly styled boot but also as a really easy boot that you can kind of chuck on with tight styling skirt styling lots of different ways like that and especially as we're moving into like warmer days I love styling outfits like this with no tights and high knee boots as I feel like it kind of warms up an outfit a little bit more so your legs aren't fully out when you've still got those chillier evenings but it really kind of makes an outfit and I've just started with this really gorgeous premium quality fake fur black aviator coat. I love aviator styles and I feel like they're one of those core cool pieces especially if you live in like the UK and that kind of thing that all year round we need a coat <laughs> that's like a classic black coat and the shape of this just makes it really versatile and like really easy to style with lots of different pieces whether it's dresses, mini dresses, tights, chunky boots, fake leather leggings and like shirts and blazers and like layering up and things like that. I just feel like it's one of those like classic shapes and styles that kind of really works lots of different ways in our wardrobes all year round. But I just love the inside of it. It is so, so soft and snuggly. It's literally like being in a blanket. And I feel like River Island do this so well with their coats. They're always such premium high quality and a really gorgeous like fit and feel. And then the logo tee, just to point out, I really love styling logo tees. I think there's something about getting your fave logo tee that has certain colors in it and prints and it just kind of adds more color to an outfit and brings a look to life. So I wanted to add like a graphic pink kind of logo tee to complement the greens and just make it stand out a little bit more. And then just to elevate the look a little bit further, I've just matched with the green crossbody bag as well. And I think, well, I'm hoping the green bags come back in stock. It keeps going like in and out of stock. So I will leave similars down below if that is currently out of stock, but I'll also leave it linked just in case you can do like sign up to restock and that kind of thing too but they're some of the outfits from River Island that I'm loving they are a brand that I absolutely adore and they're just starting to bring out some of their more like spring prints and colors and I'm so excited to just see what they start bringing out because the pieces they do are always such like premium fit and feel and like yeah, I'm just excited for spring, guys. <laughs> if you guys are excited as well, let me know because I do want to jump into spring styling, but I am holding off for a bit because I know that not all of us are ready to get in the spring feel. So let me know if you guys are and I'll start planning in my head <laughs> for March time. But moving on now to H&M, I did a little order partly because I'm going to Paris next month and I always get very inspired by fashion pieces and I feel like I wanted to try out a few more kind of like bold prints and things like that and colors. So first up, styling a more dressed down outfit with these amazing orange leggings. I want to mention before I talk about them a little bit more is that they are see-through. So <laughs> I have had leggings in this style. They're like ribbed seamless pair in the black before, which aren't see-through. So went to get the orange ones and I was like, oh, they are slightly see-through even with nude pants. So I tend to wear them with just like oversized tees. I just find the fit and feel of them so comfy and I live in my black ones and I wanted ones that were gonna add a bit more color to my wardrobe and be a pair that I can like gravitate towards in spring and summer as well. And just like chuck on with white oversized tees and trench coats. And this kind of style here is definitely 
definitely a look that I take from winter into spring. It's like my go-to, my trench coat in like those kind of seasons. And I will be doing like a ways to wear of my trench coat very soon. But I just thought with this graphic Outcast tee, which I love Outcast. I literally grew up singing Outcast from when I was like seven. I think it's the first proper band that I sat in the car with lots of my friends when we went camping and things like that and we just blast outcast so when I saw this tea I was like I want this tea in my life <laughs> I love a graphic tea like I said and I just wanted to kind of compliment and bring out the oranges in this look and then I'm styling with my go-to Axel Arigato trainers which are on the higher price range but when anyone asks me about trainers, they are the comfiest and ones that I always recommend to everyone because it's literally like walking on air. They are so spongy and so comfortable. And then styling with a classic trench coat. This one I've had for a very long time from River Island, but I have just seen that ASOS have brought out this beautiful trench coat in this beige color, very, very similar to this one. So I'll leave that link down below as like a similar option. But just a classic look, really, really comfortable, easy to kind of go out and about and definitely kind of my Sunday OOTD outfit. Next up, a styling an all neutral outfit with a pop of pink. I, like I said, I have a thing for pink <laughs> and I love this color right now. I actually love how this pink brings lots of neutral outfits to life, but I also love how this pink works with red pieces. And I love a red and pink combo. I love like a pink and brown combo. And I feel like they're really fun colors and ways of just like brightening up our wardrobes and I'm all for color styling. This one, I actually didn't realize it was gonna be as cropped as it was. It's slightly, like it fits perfectly with high rise trousers, which is really lovely, but it just means you can't kind of like tuck it in at the front, but it is a really gorgeous like premium fill. And I think at the moment they've got discounts on pretty much everything that I'm sharing for H&M, especially if you're signed up as a member, which I seriously recommend. All you do is like put your email in, sign up, and I get 20% off codes almost every week, or I get three pounds off here and there and things like that. And it's actually just really handy. <laughs> so I think this one is still discounted, but it's a really, beautiful soft like super soft ribbed material and it's just really snuggly and I thought for like layering up while it's still really chilly and then also having that like perfect colored knit for moving into spring and summer that's quite bright that would go with more like denim pieces as well it's going to be like a really lovely transitional piece in my wardrobe then next up styling this really gorgeous kind of like sheer cotton meshed ruche detailed long sleeve top <laughs> it's the only way I can describe it it's a really thin material so this is actually slightly see-through but I personally like that kind of effect to it. I feel like it gives a really easy kind of chic styled street style look. And I've just styled it with my classic collision wide leg jeans, which I wear all the time. I've actually styled these seven different ways over on like another video, which I'll leave linked down below. And then my fake leather jacket, just to give like a really easy everyday outfit. And I've kind of showed you how I've styled it, but then also showed like close ups at the top so you can see, but you've got full control of kind of how you allow it to fit. It can literally go down to like your hips and be pulled all the way down as like a normal top that you can tuck in or you can have the option that I've done and just like ruched up the sides a little bit so it's like a really cute detailed top and I just think it's just one of those tops I'll probably wear out for like drinks and things like that when I want to be a bit more casual but have something that's like a nice top and jean combo and I just thought it was really cute and really versatile for all seasons and something that I will definitely be wearing with denim shorts in summer as well when I've got like drinks in the evening and maybe styling with like Doc Martens as well and things like that but just a classic little white top with a little added something something that also comes in lots of different colors Next up, going super bold and bright with this amazing premium red coat. This is like a wool coat. So it's on the higher like premium price range of $139.99, I wanna say. And I wanna say with this one, it's actually a lot thinner than I expected it to be. It's more of the quality and the feel of it over like the thickness of it, which actually when I got it, I was thinking this is gonna be the perfect transitional coat that I can layer lots in the winter months, have as something that's really easy to carry if I need to take my coat off when I'm going in somewhere or things like that. And then also have into spring and summer, having as like that perfect evening coat, could layer with blazers underneath as well, but then also have as like a chuck on coat on the warmer days because it's quite lightweight, which I really like, but you can tell why it's the higher price range because the feel of it is absolutely stunning. Like it is so, so soft. I'm all for things being really soft. I'm a bit fussy when it comes to things being a bit scratchy. So this was like an absolute dream. The material just is lovely on. And I've decided to kind of style it here as a date night kind of outfit where I want to go 
a little bit less dressy with graphic tees. This is kind of one of the ways that I style a lot of my outfits. I tend to do like a little bit of a color elevated look by kind of matching my bag or my lipstick or matching my tee and the like main coat piece and things like that. But like I said, I do love a graphic tee, which you probably can tell from this video but this one is just like a really old Iron Maiden one which I've had for a while just to kind of bring out the reds in the outfit and the coat and it's styled with some little heel boots which you could easily dress down this look of chunky trainers or a classic chunky boot as well but just dressing up here a little bit more for like date nights and evenings and things like that. Then lastly, I fell in love with this suit. <laughs> I am all for a blazer and a suit, and I know for a fact that H&M do their suit trousers so, so well. I've had a pink pair, like a light pink pair and a purple pair in my wardrobe for nearly like eight, nine years. And I always, when it comes into spring, like go back to them. The fit and shape of their suit trousers is gorgeous. So when I saw these, I was like, oh my goodness, this is like my favorite color in a suit trouser. So I had to get them and I just, again, fell in love with the shape of it. I feel like the quality and shape of their tailored trousers are always so perfect. And I've actually styled this four different ways. So I'm gonna leave like a few of the ways on the screen here so you can see different ways I style the suit trousers by themselves as well as, as like a co-ord and then a blazer by itself and things like that and different ways you can dress them up and down. There's honestly endless ways to style suits, which is what I really love because I feel like you get multiple wears out of them and for me I know that this pink is going to be something that I wear a lot in the winter months to add more colour but also in spring and summer and again the blazer fits it's like a really premium feel and shape and it's kind of like naturally oversized and slouchy which I really love about my blazers because it allows you to kind of layer them up a bit more but also have that really nice kind of oversized shape and feel to them which I'm always for but I think I actually might if you guys are interested let me know down below but I might do like a full video just on suit styling I have two suits in like a neutral color and then this pink one which I feel like maybe it might be helpful <laughs> I don't know if you guys have suits at home that you love that you might want to see styled multiple ways but in my head I just feel like this suit is gonna last me so well and have so much wear out of it so yeah <laughs> that is it for the pieces I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope in there there was some little outfits that perhaps inspire pieces in your own wardrobe I'll leave links to everything down below but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. And if there's anything you want to see, let me know. And I'll see you all in the next video. Lots of love, guys. Mwah. Bye.